We're trying this dual Realis 130 SP jerk bait. This is the D shad. Get anything right here? Got the goldfish can. Let me just start recording this. Underwater action. Shot. Yeah. There you go. Got the recording. Strap around, man, with the goldfish can. Strap around, guys, strap around. And the goldfish kind of messed up though. Let's go guys, let's go. There you go. Oh man, this thing got messed up right here. Hopefully it caught that when it hit it. Man, this is a nice one, look at this. Check this out guys. Look at that, nice striper right there. Yep. Right. On the 130 SP dual realis, baby. Let's go. And then my goldfish cam, but I don't know if it was recording it. It probably got tangled when it hit it, but hopefully it got that bite there. Alright, let's uh Woo. look at that. That's for sure. Super size already. <laughs> so my daughter, uh, school work. She had to do. Uh, we did like a bouncy egg, so we put it on a. Two, put two eggs in the vinegar. Put vinegar and put eggs. 
uh, and then uh, it, uh, we left it on for two days, 48 hours, to make the egg bouncy, so the vinegar dissolves the egg sh the egg shell. And uh, she just texted me right now that it it, it worked it's, and it's bouncing. <laughs> That's cool. Oh man, let me see this real quick. Dang, hopefully my goldfish can caught that. Got my fish gripper. Go. Look at that, guys. Bam. It's like 20 something right here. Let me see. Boom. Oh. Damn, guys. Woohoo! We out here. Nice trap right here. Let's see how much. Uh... Damn, guys, look at this. This is like probably. What do you think? Probably like. More than 20 something inch for sure. There you go, guys. Just need one more, then limit out. Right there. 20 inch. Hotel. Let's go. Let's get it. Boy. Strap her on. Yeah. And we got on with the goldfish cam too. Yeah. Hopefully you got good footage on that one. I'll upload it for you guys. I know it's hot, but this time I came prepared. I want to let you guys know that I'm not gonna get sunburned like last time because I got this bad boy right here. Sun bun. Look at that. Ready on my arm, man. I'm not gonna get sunburned again on this at this spot again so let's get it so we got it on the 130 sp right here the d shed hit that with the goldfish cam hopefully i got some uh good hopefully it caught some good footage i don't know if it because it got tangled so i don't know if the camera was a was a was a i don't know was a recording the fish fighting and all that but we're gonna switch uh, switch it up now Right, and I know guys, I know from a previous video, uh, some of you guys were like, this is off limits. Um, but yeah, you know what I mean? I'm still here and nothing happened yet. So I know I know it's a risk, you know what I mean? But I'm just trying to get my quit limits and I'm out of here. But so far, so good. Yeah. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe, hit that like, hit that notification bell for more content like this, all right? All right, I appreciate the love, support, and let's keep on going, chaperone. Hey guys, so right here, I'm just doing this voiceover for these uh, underwater footage. Uh, so basically right here, uh, I have I have my main line tied to the goldfish brand with a two to three feet leader. Uh, I felt like I made the leader line too long. I probably should've just made like a foot or whatever, but this is my first time testing it, so. It might, mean, might not be the best footage, but here we go. As I cast this, so you see all the stripers right there, which is crazy. Like, that was probably like six or seven stripe, stripe bass just swimming around. And then, <clears throat> if you're doing cast, cast and retrieve with the jerk bait with the goldfish cam, uh, you can't really use the, its full abil ability because, you know, you, you, know, you want to twitch the rod and all that. But if you twitch it, the goldfish cam is not going to record. Uh, get some good footage footage, you know, I mean unless you the only time it's uh smooth it's smooth out if you fish it if you if you retrieve it constantly and it basically makes it, it stabilize the <clears throat> The camera so so it's pretty cool to get some underwater footage at the California aqueduct um, uh, It's pretty interesting with to see how these trappers react to like jerk baits and all that or other type of lures um, so right here I cast it out and as I was uh, giving the line out and then I re retrieving it slowly and right here 
boom, that strapper just hit it and took it. And I just, I was like, I was like, yeah, yeah, I got it. Um, but yeah, right here, um, I'm sorry for this part, guys. Uh, I know it's a bit shaky. Um, going around, like, this is why I feel like I should have made a shorter leader. So at least uh, the fish wouldn't be moving around, all, you know, like, like basically just going, going all over the place and I couldn't really get a good footage on it being hooked up but you can see right there it's just moving all around and everything so so yeah i was pretty excited right here um hopefully maybe next time when i go out there striper fishing at the aqueduct i'll make, make a shorter leader this is my first it's my first time uh recording it so it's not the best footage but it's, it's pretty interesting to see so right here let's see Still fighting the striper. I know, I know that this, this is making you guys dizzy. It's making me dizzy right now. All that shaking and all that. Uh, I feel like the goldfish cam is is better for like trolling, because you know you're constantly moving and it's it's stabilizing the recording. Whereas cast and retrieve, the only time it's recording it smoothly is if you're retrieving slowly and all that. Maybe crane baits or whatever. But like if we can use like um, I don't know. Um, flukes and all that when you're popping it up and all that is might not be the best uh footage to catch but anyways i got lucky on this striper and right here let's see here's where here's the slow motion right here and right here and here comes the striper boom got hooked up right there and yeah What's crazy was, I mean, I really don't know how, how, how it, how it got like, uh, like it, what made it, made it, uh, bite the lure. Maybe it was just like right in front of it, that's why, so. Let's see. Yep, so, still in slow motion, so, just fighting the fish. Probably should have. Let's see. Just find a fish back and forth. So sorry about that, guys. I know it's all these shaking. Uh, but go fish. Uh, go fish. Uh, they actually did say on the, in the owner's manual that if you cast and retrieve, it's gonna be shaky at times when you're recording. Um, they did state that, but. Like I said, like the best uh, for jerk baits uh, for me right now for jerk baits, if you, it's best better just to re uh, retrieve it slowly or constantly, and then just maybe retrieve it and then pause, retrieve it and pause, and uh, hopefully you know you'll make a, you'll have you'll make a striped bass react to it and hit your lure. So right here, finally caught the striper and. Let's see, man, it's a lot of shaking around, but hey, so got it right there on the D shed, dual realis 130SP, right on the lip too, that was pretty cool. Trying to get some close up recording of the fish. Alright. Also, if you're gonna fish, cast and retrieve with the goldfish cam, always side cast. Uh, let's see. Oh, here's another one right here. So I switched it to the to the prism shad, and as you can see, there's a lot of striper just in that water. Some striper were were kind of curious about the about this this uh about the prism chat but then they weren't committed for some reason like they'll, they'll they'll go up to it and then they'll just turn away i don't know if it's because i'm not uh retrieving it or jerking it or whatever but but even though i mean it's pretty cool to see uh that there's activity down there and this is at the this is actually at the at the at the pump uh, the check gate and the pump was on so maybe that's why the strappers are around. 
Okay, here we go. Let's see. What's funny was uh, this, when I switched to, pri to the prism shed, I did not catch anything. The, 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 I only caught one striper that day, which is on the D shed. But it's just crazy that to see that there's still striper down there, but they just, oh, there's a big one right there. That one was curious. curious. And I could tell that all these strippers are like keeper size too, at least 19, 20 inch or more. All right, and they're just curious. This I think this is why you gotta. I feel like if I was to uh keep the the D shed, the first one, I probably would have got another one. But look at that one right there. That was a big one right there. He's trying to see what that is. I just feel like maybe cause it maybe it, none of those, none of them uh wanted to attack it because I wasn't jerking it or whatever. There it is again, and it's see, it's turning around. It's curious. These trappers are curious, but they're not. They weren't committed to the, to this one right here, to this uh, prism shed, jerk bait. Sorry guys. I mean, I'm just going with the flow with this voice recording thing, so I might pause and then start talking again. So. Let's see. <clears throat> another one I think this one right here we had I don't know if I had to chase it right here yeah there was a chaser see the guy this trapper came out of nowhere see right here in the slow-mo I was shooting it it came and it just turned around it was it was curious but then it wasn't it wasn't interested so but anyways thanks for watching guys uh, enjoy the rest of the video hit that subscribe and Drop it around. All right, guys, we are out of here. Looks like we only got one. Looks like we only got one striper today, but hey, that's still good. You know me, still a keeper. So, gotta head back. Thanks for watching. If you guys haven't yet, hit that subscribe, hit that like, comment, and yeah, man, just thank you for the support. Stay tuned for more videos. All right, strap her on. Let's go.